Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss with you chapter 4 and 5. Very important topic for your upcoming first unit test. And I hope everyone you have already watched my previous videos. If not, please do check with that. And I am surely tell you it will help you to strengthen your preparation. And I really hope all of you are studying well and revising regularly. And definitely this video will help you to support your learning. Especially when it comes to exam focused and those who didn't subscribe my channel yet Please do the subscription so that you don't miss out any of the important updates and lessons Okay, now we are going to see the chapter 4. What are the important questions? So this two chapter definitely you will get all the type of question like one marker fill in the blanks Two marker three markers and five markers. So these are the questions for the Q chapter so, what is a queue and what are the application of queue in real life as well as the programming example and operation for the queue also they will be asking and what is a deck and application of deck operations also on deck and difference between stack and queue and difference between DQ and deck also definitely they will be asking and implementation implementation you may expect the five marker like uh, NQ and DQ operation with implementation and explain the deck implementation in Python. This too, best, better you can check my uh, lesson. Definitely I have explained very clearly in that with the answer. So please go through that video for this two questions. And what is a queue? How can you mention? These are the three points definitely you have to mention. It is a linear and ordered data structure and where the elements are added. The elements are added at the rear and removed from the front end. This is important keyword. And you have to mention it is a FIFO principle which means first in, first out. You have to mention that. And what are the application of a queue in real life example? You can mention cash counter in a bank, train ticket counter, toll booth. Q in cinema theater, Q of cars in petrol pump. You can write in your own example also like Q in assembly. So wherever you are following the Q, you can write the same example. And application of Q in programming is you have to mention web server request, job scheduling in US and print Q. If you not uh, remember the sentence, at least mention this three point for the three marker. And what are the operations? If they are asking the operation, list out all the operation and mention only one line of no sentence. NQ means what? NQ means you are adding an element. Don't mention only adding an element. You have to mention add an element at the rear of end of the queue. And DQ means remove the element from the front of the queue. Peak means what? It retrieves. It will not remove or add. It retrieves means what? You are taking it. Which means which element are there in the peak of the element? You are just getting it, okay, without removing it. If empty means it checks whether the queue is empty. Size means what? It returns the number of elements in the queue. If full means to check whether the queue is full or not. So these are the points you have to mention for the operations. And what is a deck? Deck, how can you mention? Deck is a data structure where you can add or remove elements from both ends. This is very important keyword here. From where are you adding? Front and back. Anywhere you can add and remove it. And because of the flexibility, a deck can work in both a stack and queue. And this is why it is called as a double-ended queue. Double-ended queue also is very important keyword. Next application of deck is what? Again, the ticket queue, toll booth queue, URL list, undo or redo, palindrome check. Palindrome check is a very important application. Next operation on deck is what? Insert friend, insert very very easy question this is because insert friend means you are adding the new element at the insert means what? Adding new element at the front of the deck. Insert rear means adding the new element at the rear of the deck. Deletion friend and deletion rear means removes an element from front also from the rear also. Get friend is to get the front element from the deck. Get rear is to get the rear element from the deck. Okay. And Chapter 5, what are the important questions? The sorting. Definitely you will get selection sort and insertion sort, either the algorithm or tracing for the 5 marker and bubble sort also you may expect for the 3 marker. Okay, you can see here the bubble sort, selection sort and insertion sort algorithm. Uh, see, many of my students ask me like how can I remember all those 3, it is getting confused so much. So, just the easiest way you have to learn the basic concept. See, in bubble sort, if you are taking very easy step. Bubble sort, we are having how many steps? 8 steps. And selection sort, we are having 11 steps. And insertion sort is having step 10 only. 
see bubble salt there is nothing extra we are going to add it but selection salt we are going to add what min and flag this is the two variable we are adding it here so this concept you have to remember and what about in insertion salt insertion salt we are going to add what temp temp okay so this pattern you have to remember it and bubble salt you can see here the first step is what bubble salt numbers comma n n selection salt also selection salt numbers comma n insertion salt also the same it is same only all the three and step one set i equal to zero here also set i equal to zero i equal to one here it is changing okay and here step two what while i is less than n minus one repeat step three to eight three to eight last step we are continuing here i is less than n minus one the same only i while i is less than n minus one here also i is less than n minus one repeat three to eleven here i is less than n repeat three to seven okay so this is one pattern you have to remember and next one in step three in bubble sort what j equal to zero but here you have to mention see uh, and one more thing you have to remember whenever you are setting the i immediately while loop is coming everywhere you can see the pattern whenever you are setting the i immediately while loop is coming the same way here set a j equal to 0 j is less than n minus 1 repeat steps 5 to 7 after that you are doing the comparison whether swap is required or not so j is greater than num list of j plus 1 then swap of the whatever you are mentioning if condition then you are the same thing you are doing it in their swap so here num list of j num list of j comma j plus 1 then set j equal to j plus 1 i equal to i plus 1 very simple for the bubble shot the same way insertion for if you see after the third step what we are doing minimum we are setting it to i flag we are setting to 0 and set j equal to i plus 1 here j equal to what i plus 1 we are setting it and while j is less than n repeat step 2 so i told you right whenever you are setting j also again the while loop should come after that here what you are checking if num list of j here also num list of j also here also num list of j is less than num list of min you are checking it if it is you know uh, true then what you are doing and here we are checking what greater than here we are checking what less than and min equal to j flag equal to 1 if flag equal to 1 then only you are doing the swapping what swapping you are doing num list of i and num list of min okay here num list of j you are doing a comparison here num list of i comma num list of min clear now and in insertion part also you have to identify the pattern the same pattern only will continue after i y loop and we are setting what temp equal to num list of i we are setting it and j equal to i minus 1 and here we are doing what two condition you are checking but in other two algorithm we are not checking the two condition but here only we are checking two condition after that num list of j plus 1 equal to num list of j here we are not doing any swapping so swapping is not doing in insertion part okay not doing you are just assigning only the value this pattern if you remember it then it is easy for you to understand and write the algorithm okay don't get confused with all the three and how can you remember it and definitely you have to write and practice then only you can remember the algorithm if you know the algorithm your practicals also will be very easy okay and the tracing also i have mentioned very clearly with one example step by step explanation i have given in my chapter you uh, know uh, sorting chapter video please go through that and if you have any doubt please ask your doubt in the comment section i will reply to your answer and soon i'm going to start the mcqs of each chapter at least two two chapters i'm planning to combine and do the mcqs and two model question paper i will share it in the group so that you no know, solve it on your own write the test properly so that you will come to know how uh, writing the exam properly okay so thank you so much